Approximately a million people in the U.S. have Parkinson's disease, and another 50 to 60,000 people will be diagnosed this year. There is no cure for Parkinson's disease, which is a neurological condition that robs people of their ability to do everyday chores. There are treatment options to control the symptoms, medication, surgery, and therapy, and one of those therapies is music therapy, which takes place here at the Norton Neuroscience Institute and Spine Rehabilitation Center. Okay, music therapy is the use of music to achieve a non-musical goal. So for, like, for this Parkinson's group, we're focusing on using music to strengthen breath support and, and voice strength, and as well as fine and gross motor movements. So like you'll see the stretching and the tapping to the rhythms and playing different rhythms. With Parkinson's disease, it's almost like um, a person has lost some of their internal rhythm. And so things stop moving the way that they used to in kind of a rhythmic pattern. So using music, like listening to music with a steady beat, playing music with a steady beat, and practicing all of those things, we're hoping to kind of compensate for that loss. And um, a lot of re research has shown that um, music can help the brain rewire itself around p parts of the brain that are damaged. So um, that's one of the reasons why music therapy works. One, two, ready, you. As far as the, the folks that are already coming to the group, I think that they're enjoying coming and being together with other people who um, have the same interests and also are having similar experiences with living with Parkinson's. And so they've kind of formed their own social, social network. Usually they don't want to leave once the group has ended because they, they want to visit with each other. I encourage them to come early and if they want to stay late, they can. Uh, so there's, I think there's a self-esteem and um, it can improve their mood. So I think that's really important for our patients as well as building up their vocal strength and, their, and enhancing their motor movement. Well, I, I think it's a great class and I would certainly recommend it to anybody who has Parkinson's. Some studies show that exercise and music therapy are as effective as drugs in helping people with their motor skills. Now, if you want more information about the therapy program here at the Norton Neuroscience Institute, you can call 502-629-2501. For Get Healthy, I'm Jackie Hayes.